So let's say you want to make a full print cover using this free online tool at DIY Book Covers. It's not um, exactly straightforward. There's a lot of kind of roundabout ways to get it done. If you're, if you're using CreateSpace, um, basically you can save your CreateSpace cover file like this. If you download a template, it's going to be a PDF, or you can download a PNG file, which is going to look like that. Um, and you're just going to crop at these edges. If you did get a PNG like this, you could upload the PNG into the file tool and design over it. That would be fine. I'd actually recommend calculating the size that you need first. And the way that I've done that is once you figure out the size, for CreateSpace, they have this calculation. Um, it's 6 by 9, but then there's an extra 2.5 because of the top and bottom trim. And there's also a 1.5 trim on the outside sides. So this becomes 12 point, uh, 12.5. Let's see, 6 by 6. I don't remember. I wrote it down somewhere. Um, but you're adding these two together, and then you're adding the 9.25. So it becomes, I think, oh, it's 12.25. Wide by 9.25 high plus the spine. So you have to calculate the spine width. This tells me the spine width is 0.64. So I can just add that into my calculation. But the online flash tool, it doesn't have inches, it just has pixels. So you have to use a site like this, which is pixely, and they have an inch to pixel converter. And so if I know exactly how big I need it, if it's 12.75 by 9.25, for example, then I can set 300 dpi and you'll tell me how many pixels I need so that I can put those into my flash tool here and it'll make a cover just for the right size. Um, so I could do it that way. I can't undo the size like that. Um, if I was going to do it that way, then I would put this in here. This would be for my create space cover. And I get this. And then once I have that, I can just import this left side and right side that I made that fits perfectly right in there. And you'll have to zoom in and make sure you get it right to the very edge. So once you have those, you'll know where you need to put all your materials. Oops. This is just basically the guideline so you know where you put everything, where the trim is, and that shows you how much spine you've got, so you put the text there. Um, what you would have wanted to do is made the front cover already. Like I had already made these, a few of these samples. So these are the, some of the samples I made. I made these earlier without putting text on them. Um, what you want to do, you want to save it without the text because once you upload any of these into here, there's going to be more trim around the top, right, and bottom, and not on the left side. So you're going to want to upload the art separately and then redo the text so that you can make sure the text is totally centered. It's not a big deal, probably, um, because the other thing you could do is just... Let me find those samples again. 
if I've already got something that's done with the text and I want to just upload my cover, that's fine. It's just some of the text is going to be cut off. And actually, CreateSpace is really picky about the text. They're not going to let you use text that goes over like this, even though they should. Sometimes you can tell customer support, just tell them, I made it that way on purpose. It's supposed to look like that. Sometimes they'll just let you do it anyway, as long as you're sure you want it. Because sometimes it looks good for text to go off the end of a book cover like that. But if you just upload it, they're going to tell you that it's not approved because they they check everything with robots. So the robots will check and tell you that text is too close to the edge. You can't use it. Um, but in some cases, if you have already made your text further away from the edges, maybe this one, then you may be able to get away with Yeah, even up here, there's a little bit up here that's going to get cut off because it's in the trim. So if it's in that pink area, they're not going to let you do it. And if it's smaller, then you have all this trim you need to fill. So you've really got to save the art separately. Make sure the art fills everything and then redo the text on here. And then you're just going to take some layers. You can take um, a grunge layer or a little bit of a texture layer and add it to the back. You could do something like this, where you just add a square and change the color. And then I'd add some texture over that too, and then just add the text and everything. I might try that in another. Um, another cover. But the other one, this is basically for create space. But if I wanted to make one for Ingram Spark, which is a little different because they leave all the trim on their cover. And it looks more like this. What you'd actually have to do is download their PDF from their website. And then check the size. This is 15 by 12. So I'd have to use this pixel conversion tool, which gives me 4,500 by 3,600. And then I could upload this, but you can't upload the PDF into the tool. So I'd have to use another tool like this PDF to JPEG converter to turn the PDF into a JPEG, like this version. Then I could upload it into the tool. I actually save this one as a PNG. And so the file dimensions are 4,500 by 3,600. It's another way, instead of using the um, pixel converter, because it won't tell me the PDF, it won't tell me the dimensions, but if I change the PDF into a PNG or a JPEG, it should tell me the dimensions, 45 by 3600. And if I have the dimensions, then I don't really need this pixel converter at all. I can just go to my flash image tool and set the custom size and then upload that PNG or JPEG. This is just kind of the framework, so you have a templates so you know where to put the art and if you put the art in the right place and you don't go over their margins you put the spine and text here then when you save it as a pdf it should be able to upload it to um you can save it as a png also from here if you to save as a png um you can convert it for convert to PDF and it'll work on CreateSpace or Ingram Spark. I think Ingram Spark will take a PNG actually, but I'm not sure about that. Um, PNG's quality is a little bit better than JPEG, so you'll probably want to save your full print cover as a PNG.